All right, thank you. Many of you at home sending your kids off to school today without a mask for the first time in nearly two years. Here in western New York, Buffalo Public Schools joining other districts overnight in its decision to drop its mask mandate. Senior reporter Eileen Buckley spent the day in the West Seneca School District where students and teachers were excited to be back in school without a mask. It's emotional to actually see their faces and now we can really tell their emotions and how they're feeling during the day. These are the faces of first graders at Winchester Potter's Elementary School in West Seneca, and they were very happy about not having to wear face masks in their classroom. How does it feel today not to have a mask on? Um, it feels good. Do you feel different? Yeah. Can you explain how? Um, like... It feels weird just walking into school without a mask on. First grader Maya Villa Gomez told me it feels really good to see the faces of other students and her teacher. I was really happy to see her face. Teachers Abby Markowski and Allison Zach told me it was amazing to walk into school Wednesday morning that they could feel a renewed vibe of happiness and excitement. Smiling and giggling. I mean, you could feel it. You really could feel the energy. I personally got emotional, like seeing smiles for the first time. Markowski says, as a special education teacher, it's so important to see her students' faces. You know, it's been a struggle at times with a mask on because you're muffled, you mumble. And some of the students told me they woke up this morning and forgot that they could go mask free today. When you woke up this morning and you knew you didn't have to wear a face mask, what were you thinking? I forgot that we didn't have to wear it, honestly. Oh yeah, I need a mask. When my mom saw me about to go grab a mask, we don't have to wear a mask, Neil. I was like, oh yeah. I was really happy to see everyone's smiling faces and they were all really excited too. Speech therapist Tina Bestak says the masks really hurt language development for younger students. They're teaching sounds and what you do with your mouth and your tongue and your teeth, so actually being able to see each other's mouth has been wonderful. Now, as you see from the video, there are still students in the classroom wearing masks. I counted about three in that particular classroom, but all the students at the school are being encouraged to respect anyone for their choice of with, if they are wearing a mask still to school. Live in the newsroom tonight, Eileen Buckley, 7 News. Such an important point. Thank you, Eileen.